So did you guys post a video in school? I will check this out. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm fired up. Okay, now let's do it right now. Um, all right, everyone. Let's, let's check out our boy. It's our boy, Flame. All right, all right. I want to have a look here. I want to have a look here. Perfect, perfect. You guys can see what I'm looking at. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to have a listen. <laughs> Yo, Simon, look at you go. The first clip he posted of it was just like, he posted it and it was like, just like the picture. And look at this professional intro. Look at it. Ooh. Oh, mate, you didn't stop, man. Well, you didn't tell us you were handsome. Stop the fight, mate. Look at this. This guy. Look, look at this handsome young lad. He's got the natural lighting, got the sneakers on. <laughs> no, it's fine, dude. Don't worry. Okay, first things first. Do not be uncomfortable on stage. Be ready. So you see how you got your hands like this? I'm, I'm by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm helping you out here. This is performance 101. Always remember, performing has every like the second you walk on a stage, the, before you walk on a stage, the performance has begun. Always remember that. This is a, a number one key thing. You are performing the second you arrive. So be ready. From zero, Aaron. We love you too. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, yeah, I did the do do with the harmonics. Bro. You're wondering what do you do in the intro? Do you want to, I'm going to show you something crazy, right? Uh, Michael Jackson, Super Bowl. This is for every single person who wants to know about performance. Ready? Some random person here. Okay, ready. Watch this. Watch what Michael Jackson does. So we're gonna timestamp it here, ready? 34 seconds. Thirty-four seconds he started. He just stands still. This is called goat level performing. There's a reason why he's greatest of all time. He's still going. It's been 30 seconds. He has not moved. I want you to jump on stage. <laughs> yes. But look at his band. Everyone still. No one's moving. They're just ready. They're performance ready. Nearly one minute. He's at one minute 30. 31, 32. 30. He's hit one minute now. He hasn't moved. So this is a Super Bowl halftime show. One of the most important shows that any artist can do. And he just moved his head. After one minute and 15 seconds. God level, dude. God. He's... Look at this chick. She's just hitting this big ass bend. It's... Boom. So from 30 seconds. So that's nearly two minutes. He didn't do anything. 
That is core cool performing. Obviously, we're not going to get there right away. Sorry. I'm just, I don't, this is not a roast or anything, but like, I'm just giving you feedback. Like when you're wondering like, oh, what do I do? How do I ha handle stuff on stage? How do I do things? Like go look at what Michael Jackson does. Obviously, you're not Michael Jackson, which is fine. None of us are. But like what you want to do is you want to think, okay, I need to have total control over my space. Because if you don't look like you have total control over your space, then everyone else is going to feel the insecurity. Like everyone else will get total, like if, even if you are terrified, I, I shit you not, I have been terrified as fuck in so many scenarios in performing. Like, oh my God, no one knows what's going. Like I, I literally a month ago, I did a country show and like everyone was sitting and I was like, I'm about to play like this banger of a track and everyone's sitting. And I'm like, straight away, like I went to turn on my guitar, my guitar lead broke, like so many things just went wrong. Um, but me, and I, and I was definitely getting flustered on the stage, but I was like, Luan, when you pick up this guitar and you go to play, you look like you're ready. Doesn't matter how many fucking things are wrong, like the guitar's slightly too loud or things are wrong and like no one's on the dance floor. You get up and you just slay. Just hit this fucking song and smash it out. And then that's all I did. And it went great. Literally from that point forward, it was like, it was like the crowd were like, oh, looks like things are going wrong, but he looks completely confident as soon as he starts playing. Inside, I was shitting myself. So just remember that. What you do in that situation is fantastic. Now, the only thing that I would say here with your friend is because he's focusing really closely on the guitar part. So... It's quite a lot to do. You guys need to lock in in that rhythm. So you notice that he's like slowing down with his groove. So you guys need to figure out what your groove is. That, that's, a, that's one thing that you can 100% fix before your performance. Just really lock in on like the tempo. Timing is super, super important. The most important thing. And I love this. So I love that you both are singing because that means you are both following the vocal rhythm and now the timing's getting really clean. So I like this. So this is really, really nice. So do more of that. Do more of that. Think about the vocal rhythm and use the vocal rhythm as your tempo. So that as long as both of you are hearing how the song should go lyrically with the vocal in time, it's, it's cleaning up your playing. It sounds really nice. Even his licks are coming in cleaner now. I don't know if you know, like that beginning part, did you, did you hear that, what I said, um, Simon there? That thing that, were you able to hear that change in tempo? Because um, the change in tempo is a huge part because change in tempo is the thing that's going to cause like um, the disconnect with the audience immediately. And, you've, and typically with people's attention spans, um, like the first minute really matters. So like you really, really want to lock in and show that you control. Like one huge sign of control um, is timing. I mean, it's the most important thing. Yeah, so cool. So what you guys are doing here, keep doing that. That was good. Yeah, it's subtle, but it's there. But these little subtle things, they're the things that build up because you don't want to start on a back foot and then say you're doing something awesome at the end of the show. Um, at the end of the the performance, you don't want it to you don't want to claw back. You want it to start and just keep building, um, and that's how you build like an an awesome performance. Yeah.
Yeah, because you can hear that lick. Uh, every lick he's got is way more in time now. You guys are doing fantastic. And your friend did fantastic there. Did you hear that? I think that was a slip. Where was it? So that's a slip. But as long as he keeps it in time, you're good. So that's fantastic. I, I love hearing mistakes that are good. That's a really good mistake. That's a clean mistake. I, di I dig. Very, very cool. So one thing that you can do here is because he's improvising over your playing. Now you're looking at him playing. There are some very, I mean, this is super, super nitpicky, but what's going to happen here when you are doing this, I don't know if you can tell me, what are you thinking in this moment when he's playing? Are you thinking about, man, that's some dope guitar solo. Are you hearing his solo? Is that what you're doing? Because what I would recommend you do is, um, say you're doing the... Don't listen to what he's doing on guitar solo in your head, be, just being on behalf of every man, looking out for every girl, and guy, baby of a world. On behalf of every man. Use um literally dope guitar solo. Okay, cool. So trust me, um, I, like you guys are doing so fantastic. One thing that will help you is start hearing the vocal melody. Keep keep the vocal melody in your head that you want to sing, whatever is in your head to keep time. Because you'll be distracted by his dope lick. Adblock has been updated. All right, thank you, Adblock. <laughs> and you'll be distracted by that super cool guitar solo. And you will then as an accompaniment, because he needs you to keep him in time. Um, you're, his, you're his rock. And if you get distracted by anything, you're going to hold him back from being a great player. Always remember, if you are accompanying someone, you are there to support them to sound great. So do the things that make them sound great. You keeping rock solid time is really important. So keep it in your head. Just keep thinking on behalf of every man. Looking out for every girl. You don't have to sing anything, but just if you in your head, you just you're keeping that groove. You can listen to him and be like, oh my God, that is so sick. But keep that groove. The vocal rhythm is going to keep your groove so much tighter than you just being like, because there might be discrepancies in his guitar playing that will push and pull in your time. Uh, but if you keep the vocal rhythm in your head, you won't be um, 
you won't get picked up by any of those things. And then that will allow him to feel really, really locked in. Obviously, um, say if he does really go down the route where he wants to really slow down and do things like that, like follow him. Don't like blindly do anything. But you'll find um, you'll find that if you can do that, it's going to support him way better uh, in his in his guitar solos. Yeah. Nice. On behalf of every man, looking out for every girl, you are the guy and the weight of the world. Yeah, so father's bigger to your daughter. Daughters will love like you do. Yeah. Girls become lovers. So cool. <laughs> I love this at the end. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I need to double check. So, unlisted, buddy, list this bad boy up. Chuck it up there. Share it with the world, man. Um, it's so cool. Big like. We need to put a gif in here. Let's put a gif. Dope. Let's see if there's a dope one. No, these are not one. <laughs> I wanted to, <laughs> that was the, that was the worst. We got to find a good gif. We need a good gif for this. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Boom. Um yeah, really really cool. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and that's the other thing like please post that um make that available for for everyone. Like that's so cool, dude. Like make it available cuz you'll get feedback um Oh, it gives you a copyright thing? Like, what do you mean a copyright thing? Oh, no. Just just turn it to public. Turn it to public. It's fine. Who cares? Like, I get cop copyright thing. It's it, All it means is um you don't... um You're using copyrighted content. That just means that, like, you don't get money for it. But Melvin. Oh, he's just hanging out online. I love it. Who else? All right. Anyway. But, yeah, I'm, that's so cool, man. You're going to do fantastic. Basically, pretty much do exactly what you did in that performance and you're going to absolutely slay. That was fantastic. I would not be mad about that. That was great. Um, the, only thing that, the only thing that you guys need to work on if you want to make that, like that's already a great performance. You're just be comfortable with that. Um, just if you guys are going to jump into the song, just it's the guitar part. I think it, when you guys... When you guys are getting into the guitar part, it's, um, I think you guys are thinking too much about the guitar. The guitar is not really the important thing. The guitar, when it comes to the guitar playing, always remember the guitar is supplementing the voice. Um, and, and if you are going to be doing a guitar solo, the guitar solo is now acting as a voice. So you really want to be thinking of the guitar as a vocal. So you want it to feel in time. It doesn't, like the licks are not the important thing. It's the rhythms that are so important. Like if he misses a lick here and there, which he will, you guys are performing. I mean, if you guys get a perfect performance, I'm like so impressed. That's amazing. Um, nine times out of 10, uh, you will always make a mistake. And so always have the vocal rhythm and your guitar in time, and that will keep you locked in. So I don't know how you guys can approach the, um, find a way to make the, uh, the intro really clean for you guys. Um, if that means that like he comes in and um, uh, in your heads what you want to do is before you guys come in to play the song, like that intro part, I would just straight away in your head, I'd just be like, and then as you're coming in. Like in your head, immediately you should be thinking how you're going to sing it to give him that tempo. Um, you don't want to warm into the tempo. You need to be on tempo. 
And uh, that will be the, the biggest unlock. That will completely, that, that first minute, if you guys can lock in the timing perfectly, like practice that first minute, just like nailing it, ah, oh, that, that show is going to be fantastic. 